Hello, my name is Damien. I'm NFC application engineer ST Microelectronics. And I will show you today how to program ST25 dynamic tags with RFID reader and antenna. So to do such, we have a reader from our partners, Feg Electronic. We have the model LR1002 that is connected on one end through USB cable to a laptop running the PC software that's going to control the reader. On the other end, we have the 30 by 30 centimeter antenna, also from Feg Electronic, that generates a field where we have put ST25 DV discovery boards that simulate real life products ready to be shipped from your warehouse. So I take one of those boards and I power it up. Uh, it simulates a real life product embedded ST25 DV dynamic tag. And let's assume that on the production line, we program the board for the Italian market. But I just received a call and an order for Germany, so I need to change the language parameter. So we'll take this board, put it back in front of the field, in the field in front of the antenna. And with the PC software, I will run an inventory. Here we see we detect 10 NFC forum type 5 products that match ST25 DV tags on the board. And I will broadcast a command to all tags, a command that writes data in a particular EPROMS location that indicate that these products are meant for the German market. So we're going to check that it's programmed right. So at boot up, the STM32 microcontroller from the board it's going to read the data from the e square prom on the tag. And based on the information that it reads, it will select the proper language. So here, all the boards in the field over there have been programmed with a single command in the non-address mode of 15.693 ISO standards. So to wrap it up, we have seen that with RFID technology, you can program boards that are already in your warehouse, packed and ready to be shipped. You don't need to take them out of the boxes. You don't need to connect to them with a plug or with a cable. You can change the parameter settings remotely with the RFID industrial reader and antenna.